Hello and welcome to Tree Tuesday, an ongoing series with the Allegheny County Parks and me, naturalist Katie, where we talk about a different tree every week. Now this week's tree is the Catalpa tree, Catalpa speciosa, which I'm standing in front of a beautiful one right now. Now the Catalpa tree can be identified by its large heart-shaped leaves, its beautiful showy white flowers in mid-June, and its really crazy long bean-like seed pods. It's a very interesting tree that loves to get its feet wet. You'll often find it along stream banks and in wetland and marshes. So as I'm talking about the Catalpa tree, you're probably thinking, hey, I know that tree, but that's not what I call it. Well, that's because the Catalpa tree goes by many different names, including the Toby tree, the cigar tree, the bean tree, the Catawba tree, all types of funny names. So if you have your own name for the Catalpa tree, you can comment it down below. But the Catalpa tree comes from a Native American term, Catalpa, which means showy, which refers to these beautiful white flowers this time of year. But my favorite thing about the Catalpa tree is a insect that uses it as a host and that is the Catalpa sphinx moth caterpillar. So there is a moth known as the Catalpa sphinx moth and basically it will lay its eggs on the underside of the Catalpa tree's leaves. Those eggs then hatch out to become a caterpillar which will then eat that leaf. That's its only host food. So if there's a lot of caterpillars on one Catalpa tree it can actually remove all the leaves but the tree is fine. They will grow back the next year. But the interesting thing about this caterpillar is it has its own host, a parasitic wasp. Now this wasp will actually lay its eggs inside the caterpillar's body using an ovipositor. It's a sharp appendage that will stab the caterpillar, inject its eggs, and then eventually those eggs will hatch and larvae will crawl out. And they'll actually chew their way out of the caterpillar's body, eating all the non-essential organs. Then they'll head on to the caterpillar's back and create little cocoons. This is why sometimes you might find a Catalpa caterpillar that looks like it has eggs all over its back. That is the parasitic wasp. So eventually those cocoons will hatch out to reveal the adult parasitic wasp, which will then finish off the Catalpa caterpillar by eating it alive. So a very brutal life cycle, but that goes to show the interconnectedness of our native species here in Pennsylvania. So I hope you guys enjoyed this installment of Tree Tuesday, and we will see you next time. Bye.